Good morning, folks. The next week is our last chance for family time before the kids go back to school, so the morning show will be intermittent. More details at the end of this show, but we are starting with our star. The small C-class flares and surface events continue, but there have still not been any significant CMEs, certainly none heading our way. We do have several active regions as the sunspot number continues to climb, but each needs a bit more development and complexity before they would fire flares of considerable size. We've got eyes on them and the plasma filaments and the solar wind. Despite stability in the density and plasma speed, the phi angle flip yesterday rejuvenated the geo-effectiveness of the solar wind, briefly bringing back a touch of geomagnetic instability, yellow bars on the KP index, and waning back this morning. First up in the articles, let's look at Earth's rotation speed. Many of you have seen that the mainstream news recently caught on to the story we've been covering for more than 18 months. The Earth is speeding up its rotation faster and faster. We've already broken the previous record fastest day a few times this year, and right now they are pegging November 10th in their model, appearing to be quite fast indeed. While I'm not sure it will be quite that fast as they've got listed on the chart, we do expect to have at least one more breaking of the full rotation speed record before the end of the year. And no, it's not what the mainstream says, melting glaciers. It's the weakening magnetic field letting more energy into the system. Higher supply, faster rotation, not unlike an electric motor. Scientists have found a star doing its own version of grand solar minimum. They were able to see star spots on it before in flaring activity, but it has entered quite the lull. Indeed, our star is due for another one in the coming cycles, but as we have repeatedly said leading up to this cycle, it won't be this one. We do continue to go higher than the predicted values of sunspots, and those predicted values were still well above grand minimum state. Lastly, folks, love getting more on Beetlejuice, even if it's from the crowd who thinks its Micronova was only off one side. Its mass loss event was largely dust production that blocked out the star from full view, the kind of thing that would have turned our sun red and then black from Earth's perspective. The supergiant star here is now recovering and clearing the area with photoionization and its stellar wind. We greatly appreciate your support. If there is significant space weather or science news, we will be here to report it for sure, but otherwise, last stretch of family time of summer. Going to take advantage of it, so we'll see you intermittently over the next week, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.